welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on No Creek Farms. Your host, not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. That is a mouthful, folks. It's a mouthful. What have we here? Random boxes sitting around. Folks, we got troubles. Our truck's down. Um. John up there at the dealership said to bring on in. So while we're waiting for the moisture to drop, we want to run on up there. Actually, I think I have one of the guys running up there. Um, I did. <laughs> First, I want to apologize. I, I really made a mistake on the last episode. If anybody caught that. The combine was full of sunflowers. That's why it wouldn't uh, harvest the corn. The uh, farm shop to store. But yeah, it was. Where are you going? Uh, Jason's going to take up her. Okay, good. Um, we're done with this. I, I need to have uh, John send one of his guys come get it since I'm taking the truck up there. Actually, I could have pulled it with the truck. Oh, well. But as you can see, I got the hopper out on this thing. And got it way up there. And we're putting corn in here. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to... 820,000 liters of corn. Uh, I was going to have the gravity wagon there, but it's so long of a ways to pull it. And, uh, folks, y'all can steer this. Uh, first, you got to start the engine. Wow, look at there. <laughs> the squad, they, they was having a hard time not steering this, and I don't know why. He can't figure it out. He's using a keyboard, I think, but you can tilt that thing all the way down. You can tilt it up. And it's best to tilt it all the way down. Then you can go the other way and tilt it that way. So if you want really low, let's say you can go every which way. I'll right, put this back out of the way. That's enough of that. Uh, I heard a tractor run. Oh, yeah. I was over here waiting on Betsy and now move. Move, Rosie, so I can clean. Try to clean the mess up. I'm fast forward in time, folks. That's why I got the tractor here. Um, I can't harvest until I shut that off and close these gates. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're down here. I got the bob truck there with the gravity wagon. Auger wagon here. I had to drop the sprayer off here because, you know, I had to clean the, clean the pigs up. I mean, pigs. The cows. I'm thinking about pigs an awful lot. Let's go ahead and unfold this. Hopefully, we'll be able to might do some night cutting. I uh, did get it sprayed up to the left side right there and start plowing. But uh, let me fast forward time a little bit more. Afraid it's going to start raining. Okay, it's reached its trigger. So let's go and check on that real quick. Stop driver. Close all this out. Shut it off. This going to help. A little bit. Uh, we gotta repair it first. $115, yes. And we'll get to sell it for $41,000. So, sell. Yes, I just have to drive a tractor around. Uh, come on, Jason, let's go back to the farm. Uh, 
got fertilizer in the bucket, so I just brought it in here out of the rain, which it did rain last night. Oh, oh, got to slow time down. Almost didn't catch it in time. All right, let me clean these up real quick. And I've been dumping this grass over in here, and it's it's been disappearing. I figured just make it look a little bit better. All right, let's let's check on the cows before we get started. There's the manure back here. All right. Since I got 28,000, I'm going to repay uh, 300,000 left. Cool. Uh, I don't know why I do that. 65% uh, health. Uh, reproduction rate and next animal in has not come up yet. I think I have to have 100% health in order to start breeding animals. But uh, everything else is good. So power food, I'm going to let it get down a little ways before I start adding on it. So the cows are good. I just wish my wallet was good. Um, there's what's been done. And you see down here at the bottom. That's uh, what I got planted in wheat. So all this right here is uh, field one is wheat and it's section right here I ran the seeds out and that's what I had left after doing one so I got all that empty um so yeah having said that let's go and to the garage tell you what let's go to the combine real quick get it started yeah we we need to get it started uh, Probably going to do some night harvesting in order to get this off. Okay. I'll let him do his business while he's doing his business. Uh, let's get back to this guy. Uh, yeah, everything was good on them, so. We're going to take this tractor back out in the field, hook up to the fertilizer. But we won't be fast forwarding time anytime soon, so. There's our little thing there. That's going to be for mixed rations. And, uh, some extra crops or whatever we got to do. Back up in here. There we go. And I'm going to drop this right here. Because I hate putting it back in the shed right now. And I uh, see here, let's get a little bit of fuel. That should be enough. And I need to quit driving across here. Can't really tell it with these tires. The other tractor I drove across, you can tell it. Uh, we got Jennifer driving the combine today. But yeah, I'm kind of scared. I'm afraid we're not going to get the crops out. Now, we do have Thursday where it don't rain. So, hopefully... Well, that's a big hopefully. That 
one charger would be in the way. We can make a round in the plow while we're waiting for the uh, for this fifty four percent. Where is he? Or Jennifer? I'm sorry. Like she's going all the way around, which we needed another headland. All right. Which this has been fertilized. Like I said, fertilizer is caught up to the corn. I can make another round with or round with this, and then I'll be caught up with the fertilizer so um, we're already 11 minutes in it's, it's gonna take a while to finish this field that corn header it's really slow if it wasn't for going in debt I, I'd say we lease a combine for a couple of days a bigger combine I don't know I said I can't go no further than right there. Cause if you barely can look and see it, I don't know if you can see it here. You barely, 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 barely can see the right side right here in the middle. It's dry and this side's wet looking. But that's where it is, you know. Look at the leaves and stuff on the. Thing. Let's see. My disc is raised up. There we go. She's 91. 91 percent. I'm gonna have to stop this guy. We're gonna have to go up here. I'm running today, ain't I? Woohoo! I'm running. One or two man operation kind of goes slow. I got the bob truck sitting right down there. I don't know why I got down there, but I guess this side of the way. I should really bring it to right, right in here somewhere, but oh well. Wow, oh, she's full. She is full. All right, Jennifer, I'm coming. And just think, folks, that's this not even a full circle around the field. Almost didn't make it. Ah. There we go. I don't know why this didn't hit S1. getting over too close. Alright, she's empty anyway. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and yeah. So we got Donna and Jennifer working together today. Awesome. Alright, run right back around here. Um... Trying to think. So go ahead and hit this guy back up on here.
I put the weight on the front. That way they help me. Last time I was sliding around every which way. Um, I used about a, a hopper and a half going across. Somewhere wrong in there. All right, I'm I'm bored now, folks. I, I guess I'll plow some more. Which is never boring on the farm. It's just the I don't know what it's called, but uh, you know, you get doing something so long and you need a break and to do something else. So. I guess when uh, Jennifer gets up here on this end, I'm gonna make her go up and down. All right, I am caught up. Yeah, I did use that grass right there. I did plow that together. But well, don't remove that one kind of grass. I don't know why. But... Alright. Let's go ahead and kill the motor on that. And... Well, here's Jennifer. Oh, well, she's a blonde today. Okay. Go in here. I'll turn that on. And Jennifer's still hired. And I'm going to do that where it's up and down. And I'm going to hop out, go ahead and unload her. And we're going to see if. She can make a full round. All right, so far, so good. here one or two more rounds she'll we'll be able to uh, spray some fertilizer out but this is what what it is really on live so we don't turn the tractors off when we're out in the field, we leave them running because starting and start, stopping and starting the the motor is one bad on the starter because you're having to use a starter more, and two, it seems to burn a little bit more fuel when you shut them on and off like that. Really cheaper using them without uh, starting them. Um. Which I could go dump in the semi truck, but the yeah, time she comes back down this way, then goes back down, we'll have enough room to spray again. And uh, yeah, she's doing good down here, turning around. There's the pond. We need to get making some more bales, but we're going to have to get our crops out first. Crops come first. 
I do wish we could have got the chickens on here. Oh, it's slow. Which actually, on how far it works, when they use their combine, I see how many rows this is. The cow from inside. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight row corn head. Okay. Um. I think theirs was a six row. Something like that. But anyway, they was going like 3.2, 3.6 miles per hour. We're actually going six mile an hour. And this combine's been using some fuel too. Look at there. We're down to almost like a quarter of a tank. We might make it back. Or should I say Jennifer might make it back. Putting that corn in the grain tank. And I actually like that they uh, put the hopper in front of the motor. Between the cab and the motor. Because it quietens the, the sound of the motor down a lot. Because I drove an 8820 and that motor was beside you. That was loud, folks. It was really loud. Jennifer, you gonna work on that? You're driving this thing like a pro. You and Donna are doing pretty good driving it. Oh, get down here. Oh, it won't let me no more. Hmm. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna hop out, and let her turn around, make sure we're not in the way. Might move back up a little bit. I'm gonna empty this time, and then we'll go and put it in the grain truck. Come on, you should be just about there. There you go. We got twenty two thousand. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, I'm glad we backed out. Hmm. Now that would be where I would want to come in. Hey, yes, folks, I didn't use the gray box. I'd be wanting to come in and we'll put some kind of tool or something in level that heel off smoother or something we got a lot of soybeans folks a lot all right this was probably a quarter a little over a quarter between a quarter and a half of this truck all right I was wanting to get enough in here to show y'all. It's 22,000 right now. So it wasn't quite a quarter. I 
Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I think I, I can go over here for a sec. Whoa. Don't go in the corner. I should be out of the way there. We'll go over here and see if we can spray it out through here now. Yeah, we can do it. That's what I've been doing. I've been letting the combine drive itself. Or, you know, have one of the workers drive it, like Jeff or Adana or somebody was Jason. And I do this, the spray and, and the, the plow myself. It helps save a lot of money. Look, water overflow things out there. You got water in them now. Pretty neat. But yeah, I already got that set up right there all the way down. And this is our first straight through all the way through. I had to have some throughness. Yep. Stop it right there. All right. Let's go over here to our disc. Whoa. Well, I was thinking. Sure wasn't paying attention. And, and this is what I do uh, when I'm not recording. You know, I just let Jennifer, uh, which is 90%. That's about perfect. I don't think she'll make it the whole through. Or the full round. There we go. Get it about halfway. Seems to look a little bit better that way. Well, we got 21, 15, 9, 4, and done. Oh crap. Took some corner out. I was looking down at the other monitor. What am I doing? I have no idea, folks. Tractor's a little too fast for me right now. <laughs> Alright, um, I guess I'm going to wrap it up. Oh, not that, that, 
and uh, three. But as you know, this this is what I do, folks. This huh, long process. Now I could wait. I could let the the harvester go on across and. They'll come back and hire work with these and they'd be able to go and stuff, but I'd rather do this this way. That way I can save some money. Oh, I'm going to miss a spot. I'll back up and get that. Thought I had it all the way out. That it looks a little bit better. I actually need to come see if I can get that roller and put some grass down around there. That'd probably help out a whole lot better. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, if y'all have uh, anything you want to talk about or any concerns or or anything. You can just leave them down below in the comments. I'm going to have to back up and get that. Cause... And uh, I will get to them as soon as I can on the comments. And uh, still thinking about starting another episode. I already got them recorded. I just don't know when to launch them. I think I'm going to start this week or next week launching those. And, um, but it's, uh, Autumn Oaks is what it's called. I already got five episodes recorded. Uh, something about like No Creek, but yeah, it's a little bit harder to tell. Alright. Whoop whoop. Iron trenches. We'll get right here and go back. Make it, make it, make it. Alright. Um, I'm trying to think, see if there's anything else I need to tell y'all. Um, I don't guess there is. But, um, might have one more. I don't, I don't know if I can do all this off screen or not. We'll just have to wait and see. We really need a bigger tractor for this. This Everybody's been telling me uh, that little thing has been pulling that, but. Yeah, it's it's trying. You know, a bigger tractor would go faster, but I think right now I need a bigger combine than I need a bigger tractor because these this equipment can go across the field a whole lot faster. Alright. She made a full round looks like seventy eight percent, so doing pretty good. Yeah, she's about to turn around, so. <laughs> Alright, folks. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get off here. It's uh, 34 minutes. You see how long it's going to take. We came from about right there to there in 30 minutes, so. About an hour and a half, two hours of gameplay. I wanted to show y'all the corn, but I tell you what, y'all, y'all stay in here just a little bit longer. I'm gonna unload this into the truck. We'll take the truck to the shop. That way, y'all can see the corn going into the grain beans. Cause I don't think y'all seen that yet. Whoa, 
don't get over that far. 1%. There we go. Let's hurry up and do this. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, watch out for a big old hill. Oh, Bring the truck back out park. Oh, on the other part there. It's not so bad to go in the angle. Alright. Getting pretty good at that. There, right there, make a good thumbnail, too. Alright, that's all I got in that. I'm going to shut that off. 39. Not bad. Thing gets loud when I. I think that's like a compressor for the airbags. If I really remember right. That's what it is. Oh, look at all that uh, 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 gravity wagon, how it was swaving. And that does that in real life, too, folks. Drop the trailer right there and zoom in some so you all see this a little bit better. All right, I got the icon right there to dump, and there it goes. You see the grain going in up there? Let's the graphics off on this a little bit. Not bad. I'm going to zoom in. I can get there in time. That's what it looks like. Alright, folks. That's going to be this episode. I'm going to show you all the wheat. Oh, I got to uh, take that thing back. Wheat seeded. No, nothing else. It's just seeded. So I hope it's going to be alright. But folks, y'all have a great day. I want to take my back. There we go. There we go. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Okay. We got here and finish some corn. All right. Later, folks. <laughs>